guys, welcome back to Sherbert Inc. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've posted a video, uh, but today I have the January Art Snacks box subscription box versus the January Sketch Box subscription box. So let's uh, take a look at what's inside of them and see what we have this month. Um, if you're not familiar with these boxes, I will leave um, a description and a link down below. I did open these up and take a look because I couldn't help myself but I'm still really excited to show you what's in here. So it comes with the description card of everything and its value. This month in Art Snacks, we got two bottles of golden high flow acrylic paint. I got fluorescent blue and fluorescent chartreuse. Um, they have these really nice tip ends and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. I'm really excited. I love using golden paint in my mixed media art. So I'm really excited to try these out. The candy and the Art Snack sticker, which looks like a pencil shaped like a pretzel. And these always come wrapped, so it's like a present, which is really fun. So we have a Koai Noor um, Hearts Muth Magnum pencil, um, Magnum Black Star pencil. Then we also have a Zig um, Art and Graphic Twin pen so it's got two tips so then we have a brush tip on this end and a softer nib pen tip on that end it looks like uh, Persian blue is the color and this is by Kiritaki we have a half inch snap stroke brush paintbrush that's really soft so that is this month's art snacks I'm very excited to get in here and use. So Sketchbox always has art on the outside of their box. This art is by Mandy Lewis Houston. And I do get the premium box, so your box may have something different in it. Rose in Garcia is their featured artist. It's really pretty. And then a description of everything that's in here, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what we have. Sketchbox sticker. I'm getting kind of a collection of those, not sure what to do with it, and all the blue squiggly paper. So we have manuscript gold and silver uh, calligraphy pens. These are your traditional calligraphy pens. The barrels are kind of slippery. So with a calligraphy tip in gold and silver. We have a Sketchbox signature water brush. I love using water brushes. I don't know that I have used theirs before, so that's a pretty wide end. Then we have a Zig brush pen number 24 small brush. This is a water-based pigment and it's light fast. And then last but not least, and I am so excited about this, they gave us a Ganzai Tambi Starry Colors gold palette. I have had the Ganzai Tambi um, watercolor palette set 36 set in my Amazon cart for weeks now and just keep not buying it even though I want the gold so bad so I was so excited to see this so as you see this gives you seven different gold colors ranging um, so we have a blue gold a red gold a yellow gold champagne gold light gold and white gold I'm so excited to see what the differences are so these are just activated you know like any watercolor with water we're gonna just take a standard sketchbook this is by pro art this is not included in the kit but I'm very curious to see what this looks like. So I'm too impatient to fill my water brush. Let's... I'm not even sure if you can see that in the red gold. And I am by no means a watercolorist. Ooh, that one's really pretty. The yellow gold. Oh, it's very light and sparkly. All right, so there's the champagne, very light. Yeah, you can't even hardly see that one. It's very subtle, but very shimmery. Yeah, you can't even really see that. So that is the Ganzai Tambi gold box. It's called Starry Colors. Really pretty colors. There's a lot of shimmer to them. I am excited to play with that. Cali Creative Italic calligraphy pens. So this is the silver and the gold. By no means an expert, but 
This is just a really kind of a green gold color, but the silver is really pretty. So to open it, we have to remove this yellow ring. Then we give it a squeeze. Okay, let's give it another little squeeze. Come on, oh, there it's starting to go. So thick or thin. I think I need to play with it to get the hang of it. Um, that is a Zig small brush pen. Supposed to be good for watercoloring, which would go perfect because this is obviously a watercolor kit. I love the colors they chose, the black and gold. Um, it was how she got such an impressive look. So everything that she used to make this was in the kit. Um, let's take a look at the Art Snacks pencil. So you can lay down a thin line, you know, obviously, or use it for some shading. Um, that does smudge nicely. We have the Kiritaki Zig, which is the same brand as this guy. So we've got the brush tip or the marker end. And let's see here. So re they've remastered the most notable double-ended marker, introducing the Art and Graphic Twin RB plus F by Zig. The RB stands for real brush because one side of this marker has an actual brush tip and the opposite side has a thin 0.8 felt tip or F for short. The ink in this marker is water-based so you can dip the brush tip and into water to achieve a greater watercolor effect. Well, let's see what that looks like. Let's, if we dip it into water, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so these guys are really pretty with the watercolor effect. Awesome. Well, that'll be fun. Our golden high flow acrylic. And I actually used, I've never used the high flow before. Um, I use these guys, which is just the fluid acrylic. Um, that's what I use for my painting. So I'm excited to use the high flow. Let's see here. It's really pretty. Those colors are really similar. They play nicely together. Okay, so we have the fluorescent chartreuse. Whoa, that comes out really fast. I probably should have anticipated that. It does uh, it's in the name, right? Wow, that is really, really bright. Okay, so I'm making a lovely mess here. Okay, I'm a little afraid how fast this comes out. Maybe we won't open it all the way. Woo, comes out really, really fast. Okay, so we'll use our brush, just kind of smooth it out. It's a nice consistency. I mostly paint with my fingers. Um, it's a little thinner than their other formula, I think, but I'm still really excited to play around with these and see what I can make. This is the January Art Snacks versus Sketchbox boxes. I really have to say for the first time that it's a tie for me. I'm really excited um, that there are golden products in here and I'm excited about the Zig um, art and graphic markers because they work like watercolor uh, but on the other hand we have some great products in the art snack box I am so over the moon excited especially since I already wanted to try to get my hands on the gold and the fact that you can get it just like this uh, without buying the full uh, pack is really exciting so I can't wait to see what I create with them um, either of these boxes was definitely a win for me um, I thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you next time bye